For this video I thought I'd do a quick run through of the games I have in my place. I guess I've been a little hesitant to do one just because I was kind of hoping I'd have a game room and I don't really. It's more just rooms filled with games as you'll see. But I had a few more games in here than I normally would and uh, you know I figured it's as good a good time as any to do one. And then if I do get that game room later on I'll, I guess I'll do a better video. But I'll walk. this is the, the first room that I filled up. Uh, here's the artwork. I'll do a quick scan of that. I'm trying to do this in one take, one shot. So hopefully I won't ramble too much. Or pause too much or whatever I do. Uh, there's the Bionic Commando one in case you're wondering what that was. And then I really enjoy this this Red Baron one. I thought that's a neat looking poster. Slightly modified demolition derby from Chicago Coins. That's in intelligent, get a bit of a glare. This camera doesn't do too well in the dark, so I've tried to brighten up this room a bit. So some of the ambiance is lost, I'm sure. But there's uh, the Pac-Man LP with the storybook in it. I thought that was kind of neat in here. And there's Breakout. I think I already got the Donkey Kong. So do a go on to the games. This one is the Spider Cockpit. Uh, definitely one I played when I was a kid. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And it needs new side art. I have it. I haven't put it on yet. Uh, I, well, I was going to say it's back in the corner and give some more excuses, but I don't know. I just haven't got around to it. There is Centipede. It's Cabaret. Smaller version. Helps me stick a five against this wall here. But definitely another classic. And then this is the very first game I got. This one is Stargate. And I got it signed by Eugene Jarvis at one of our shows. That was kind of cool. At least I, I thought it was kind of cool. And it has a J-Rock board in there, so I can swap between Defender or Stargate, depending on what I want to play. And, you know, uh, I have a lot of 70s games, but looking around, this actually room is filled with a lot of 80s. So, I don't know, I guess I've mixed it up a bit for when people come over. Uh, other rooms, my other rooms definitely are more 70s. But here's Warlords, uh, mirrored 3D effect in this thing, and if you want to see a, I, I go over it in my videos, uh, if you want to see what this one's about, check it out. In the corner there's a Red Baron and my, let me, let me fix my subs here. Sorry about that, my sub was acting up. I don't remember where I was either, but going on, I'll just go on. I think I was talking about the Red Baron. Great little vector game from Atari. Love the way the plane feels. And uh, next to that is my Neo Geo, one of my newer cabinets. And Puzzle Bobble, Metal Slug, uh, definitely gets play. Not, not one of my favorite cabinets, but it is definitely played when people come over so I keep it around there's some cartridges for it next that is my one pin and that's a target alpha um, enjoyed the artwork on this one sci-fi kind of 50 style and it's a fun game you try to hit those targets in the back all 10 and you got five up front but it's probably a little loud to have in this room but I played anyway. So here's the one that was causing the trouble. This is my subs out of my hallway. And Atari's first. Close the coin door there. First dual monitor game. Uh, I've done a video on this one too. But there's the uh, authentic submarine controls there with the steering wheel, I'm sure. That's, that's the one in my hallway. And this is my workroom. Um, yeah, start out with the Asteroids, still probably my favorite arcade game, I do enjoy Asteroids, I'm not really good at it, but I do enjoy it, and it's a pretty nice example of it, I got kind of shoved in the corner, uh, there's the video music next to it, and then I have two Midways, uh, Blue Shark and Seawolf, and I just really enjoy the artwork they do on these midways full full side art down the side 
in the front too and just did a great detail you got your harpoon gun on this one and the periscope on the uh, sea wolf uh, yeah just pretty creative and then behind me is my cinematronic ripoff which you gotta try to protect your fuel cells from the space pirates great two-player game lots of fun and yeah definitely what I like here's my work area um, I was working on a gunfight in Space Invaders for, of a friend yesterday so it's a little bit of a mess got some monitors up there not more than a little bit oscilloscope underneath that flap there signal analyzer so random tools there's a Space Invaders board there but yeah Yep, like I said, sorry about the mess. It just gets used. And that's my workroom. So four games in there. Let's go out into the living room. And I'll start over here with my gunfight. We'll go to the next the other midway game. 1975. Uh two player only, so definitely I guess I have to wait till people are over to to play this game, but I thoroughly enjoy enjoy playing this one too. It's a great game, lots of fun. Next, that is my '74 Grand Track 10, just a little bit little bit younger than me. And I'll probably be doing a video next on this one, so if you're interested, keep an eye out for it. It's Atari's first non-pong driving game here. And then here is my four-player four player pong game, a uh, tournament table. I've gone over this in the video for it, but yeah, this one was based on the Atari hardware, Atari 2600 hardware, or VCS hardware. So it has breakout and um, what else? It has hockey and soccer and quadrupong. I think there's like 12 different games in here. And then across from that is my tank cocktail cabinet. Head on, head to head, two player only again. And uh, yeah, it's an early. I think it's this one's serial number thirteen, so I believe it's a pretty early, early cabinet. And then next to that is my Space Invaders. Another classic game. Another one I love the artwork, and it happens to be a midway too. I'm seeing a theme here. But that, that monster right there is just burnt into my memory from the arcades. And this one has the multi Braze multi game kit in it. So I can play uh, like eight different games in there. Space Invader, Space Invader Deluxe, Lunar Rescue. A bunch of good ones. Definitely a, a good kit to have. And here's my other newer game in here. This is a... Uh, trying to remember the year. I think it's 89, maybe 88. Anyway, it's an Assault, Atari Assault. And, yeah. Um, got a new CPU on this. Control panel. CPO, I mean. No, no wonder that didn't sound right. And, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Needs a little more work. Uh, once they do the regular artwork, or once they fix that artwork, that'd be, that'd be great. And then going down here, I have a drag race by Key Games. Not one you see too often. Uh, I've been planning to do a video on this one too. I just haven't figured out how the best way to incorporate the cat uh, attacks in the into the video. So once I figure that out, I'll be doing a video on this one too. But same cabinet as Sprint Two. So yeah. Uh, next that is my '74 Pin Pong. Definitely a unique cabinet, and I think I heard there was only like 250 made, so pretty rare, and I don't know, kind of a, a crown crown jewel of my collection, I would like to think. Next to that is its video, uh, its later offspring, I don't know what you call it, from 1978, it was their later attempt at doing video pinball. This is video pinball, which is one that I just did a video on well about a month, two months ago now but definitely a 
yeah, they've come a long way since since that one to to this game in four years. And then next to that is my hustle. And this is kind of like like uh what like the the my mind just went blank. Sorry guys. Uh the motorcycles on Tron where you're zipping through trying not to hit each other's tail. And this one has little points that appear. So you also have to race for the points, and whoever gets the most points uh, wins. So there's my pachinko next door to that, and some cartridges. I have some Atari cartridges there, and television and stuff. Oh, there's some toys from 70s and 80s, too. But uh, next to that is my Mega Touch, the bar games, trivia, another one that seems to get played during during parties and there's my three slot rotary phone uh, pay phone also so oh ran into a stool and then the last one is my other cinematronic it's armor attack and another great co-op or solo I guess but I like them co-ops uh, vector game 